Hezbollah. Um, Nasrallah, uh, the leader of Hezbollah, uh, the leader of Hezbollah who should not be alive, who should have been killed a long time ago, um, it, it gave a, a big speech today, highly anticipated speech today. Uh, uh, tens of thousands of people uh, stood outside uh, to watch the speech. I think it was on video. I don't think he was there live. He's afraid for his life, as he should be. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, this was highly anticipated because he hasn't really given a speech since October 7th. And the question was, is, is Hezbollah going to join the war? Is Hezbollah going to support Hamas? Uh, what's going on? Uh, the foreign minister of Iran has been in Lebanon recently to, to talk to, to Nasrallah. So the question is, what is Iran and Hezbollah? What are the plans? And, and the speech, I think, was a big disappointment to a lot of people in the Middle East. Because Nasrallah did not, indeed, declare war on Israel. He did not announce that he was joining Hamas. He did not announce that, uh, that uh, they were going to use the 140,000 missiles uh, to attack Israel. Um, he basically, uh, you know, uh, uh, claimed first that Hamas acted alone, that Hezbollah and Iran were not involved in spite of evidence to the contrary, that they had no say, that they did not green light it, that they did not participate. He also emphasized that this was basically Hamas's war, that he completely supports them, and they are just, and Israel must be eliminated, and that, you know, he basically claimed that Hezbollah has been fighting the Israelis since October 8th on the northern front and distracting them from uh, Gaza, and it's why things are going so slow in Gaza. It's because of the Hezbollah, even though the Hezbollah has just been doing kind of pinpricks, not, they certainly haven't engaged in full-blown war. And he basically didn't indicate at all that they were going to engage in full-blown war. Uh, he kind of suggested and threatened that if things got worse, they would, if there's no ceasefire, they would be easily threatening all month uh, uh, since uh, uh, October 7th, and nothing has come of it. So it was a really, really, really interesting talk because basically what it represented was Hezbollah and Iran basically saying, we probably don't want to get involved here. Not now. We're afraid. You know, we don't want the Americans to get involved. We don't want the Israelis actually to come after Hezbollah. And I think really, really important is to realize here that the Lebanese don't want Hezbollah involved. Basically, a, a, a powerful... Lebanese politician, head of the, the Christian militias in, um, in Lebanon, basically said the other day, if Hezbollah gets involved, you know, Hezbollah is, 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 uh, is, is therefore a destructive power in Lebanon, and we will oppose Hezbollah uh, uh, throughout. So uh, Hezbollah is, you know, the Lebanese economy is basically doesn't exist. Uh, Lebanon is in grave, grave economic danger, political collapse, economic collapse, uh, they're very close to that. They cannot afford a war with Israel. Hezbollah will lose whatever political power it has in Lebanon. Iran, Iran is not doing well economically. I mean, it's, it's doing okay because it gets to sell its oil at these exaggeratedly high prices, but it's not overall doing well economically. And there's a lot of angst inside Iran, they're not, I'm not, I don't think they really want a full-fledged war with the United States. They want to pink pick it. They want to tell the world, the Hamas, and their own people, oh, we're fighting on Hamas's side. They, they want to kill some Americans, and they know America will not respond really in any kind of significant ways. So they'll do anything they can to attack America and Israel without having Israel or America respond fully. I mean, this is a coward speech. A speech by somebody who's very afraid, a speech with somebody who, in spite of the fact that they have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of troops, and many of them well-trained because they've been fighting in Syria for very long, for, for, for many years, and, and as I said, somewhere between 100 to 200,000 missiles uh, targeted at Israel and, and advanced, you know, weapons from, from the Iranians, in spite of all of that, they're not ready to engage. 
they're not ready to actually go for it. Um, right? So, uh, you know, uh, uh, Scott is somewhat exhibiting his ignorance again. Um, Lebanon's been teetering me for 40 years. Not, not really economically. Lebanon's done okay. But over the last two, three years, I talked about this. Do you remember that explosion in the ports and elsewhere? In, in, in the political crisis, Lebanon is really in a state that it's never been before. Even during the civil war in the 70s, it was in a better state than it is right now. And Hezbollah's position is probably never been weaker than it is right now since it came, uh, became a, a, a powerful political force in the late 80s and, 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 and since then. It's never been politically weaker probably than it is right now. And a war with Israel w would be a disaster for Hezbollah. And, and I think they know it. So uh, interesting, uh, interesting that uh, uh, everybody's been expecting, everybody's been fearful, everybody's been expecting Hezbollah and Iran to join in. I think they got threatened by the U.S. and, and Israel. Uh, I think the Saudis probably told them, stop it. Um, and, uh, and they decided to, to, to walk away. They've, uh, so they'll continue. Uh, to lob some missiles here and there. They'll continue to take casualties. Uh, many, many Hezbollah fighters, I think about 60 Hezbollah fighters have already been killed by the Israelis. Many more will be killed, but they're not going to go out for all-out battle. They're not going to get to the point where Israel feels like it needs to bomb Beirut. As long as this stays local in southern Lebanon and doesn't expand and is, you know, uh, mitigated, uh, bomb here, bomb there, then uh, they're fine, but an all-out war with Israel, they do not want. Now, I've advocated from the beginning of this a preemptive strike in Hezbollah, the destruction of Hezbollah. I think that's necessary. I think if not now, when? If, 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 uh, and, and I think Nasrallah is worried about that, and he's, he wants to not give Israel the excuse to take him out. Uh, I, I think he fears that maybe this time Israel will take him out, not just his troops in southern Lebanon. And there is, I guess, some risk of that. All right, so the speech, significant speech, but really very little progress.